On April the 26th, 1986, a sudden surge of power during a reactor systems test destroyed Unit 4 of the nuclear power plant in Chernobyl. The residents at the time, including those in the town of Pripyat, were told to evacuate. They would be returning in three days' time. They were told to only bring the bare essentials and one suitcase each. However, that never came to be. They never got to return to their homes. And until this very day, areas around the nuclear plant are left uninhabited due to high levels of radiation. I have decided to go to Chernobyl for myself and get a better understanding of the area. trees are quite black. That's from the big forest fire in uh, 2020. What month again? Uh, April was it? Igor? April. April 2020. There's a big forest fire here. Igor here says that uh, fires are regular but this one was bigger than usual. So uh, I should show you again real quick. So about 10% the zone is all burnt away. So this here was um, was this for intelligence or for for missiles uh, to direct missiles? Was it? Uh, yeah, it is um, early warning over the horizon um, missile detector, anti-ballistic missile station. Station, massive sort of. It's massive. Come close, you will see how it is massive. Tech. Just sitting idle now. So we're actually going into a place now where the Soviet Union would have spied on the rest of the world. Is that right, uh, Igor? They would have got absolutely correct. We go yeah. in there. So now we're going to uh, computer inside of computer, but this computer was built in 1970. That device it's so big. Very big. Let's see what it's like. Now we can destroy New York. <laughs> you see, it's written New York. <laughs> no New York. Alabama. No Alabama. Dublin. Da, you see, it's, it says <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> no Dublin. <laughs> Even get the neutral ones. <laughs> and this is, uh, fortunately, uh, we don't have Moscow, we don't have any uh, Soviet uh, cities because it is against the West yeah. against the NATO. You know, 95% of Soviet art was propaganda. 5% was hidden propaganda. Now you can see an example of hidden propaganda. Watch the future. Outer space winners, winners, cosmic winners. It's a, a, this is a, basically it was buffet, cafeteria. So let's go to, to the main control room. To the main control room. Yeah. It's the main control room. There was a screen, like NASA screen, big one, and smaller computers. Take a look. It's a heart of this base. They are angels. Angel, Bra yeah. Brave Soviet soldiers, look at faces. 
well trained, well educated. They protect us from them, from eels, American soldiers, uh, cowboys. When they are coming, American soldiers are coming, women and kids crying. This is propaganda room. Okay, let's go to that place where you ask me. You have to take two days too. I show you so crazy place. Now it's to Russia, no, one day too. It's very uh, short. You plus today is short day, you know, short day. I'd have to come back again. End of November. End of November. And do a lot more. <laughs> did you say, did you mean this room? Yeah. Okay, another exam. Show me your home, please. Here we go. Okay, look, take, look at this. This is Soviet missile. <laughs> Boom! This is why everything here. Kidding, so it's not. This is missile detector. It's not missile launcher. Detector, yeah? Yeah, detector. This is, this is the place of missile detector. And this is uh, ionosphere. They used ionosphere to detect launches of American ballistic missiles. Not only American, just NATO ballistic missiles. And the Soviet Union had three such systems, and this system was responsible for this part of our planet, this one. For not part of uh, Europe, for west part of Europe as well, uh, for not part of America, and for this ocean, which is Chernobyl. So this is the school now, we're going in. Yeah. No name, Just. school three. So Soviet Union had no names for schools. My school in Kiev, my school in Kiev was 189. Imagine. Easy life. This is full gym, as you can see. Try to guess. Who is there? <laughs> of course, Lenin. Everyone, huh? This is the Lenin's message to us. Lenin's message. What was this message? What, what does it say? So, I don't know. Now I will read it and tell you. So, the idea of society cannot be. You cannot imagine ideal society without connection between uh, work and education. Is it true? So this is the local community center. You can see seats, you can see stage. It's a theater and the cinema at the same time because over there you can see projection place. Yeah. Projection room, window, projection windows. Of course, if you come close, what you said? Yeah. red sign. It's another Lenin's message. It says to learn. So we have to learn military science in the true way, you know, hard way. Yeah. To learn military science because it is very important. And this is the seats, projection room, local community center. So, but uh, of course, uh, it's uh, the main idea to build such centers to, be, uh, to build such culture houses all over the Soviet Union for propaganda. propaganda Gathering yeah. people. So you can see a gym. And you can see this is the, the Olympics. This is the symbol of Moscow Olympics 80. Americans. I believe, and British didn't come. They boycott. Then Soviet soldiers didn't come to Los Angeles Olympics 1984. And you can check radiation levels. Check the radiation, yeah.
not point. Not point nine seven, not point eight, no. but not point ninety. One point zero eight, still very low. Okay, guys, I'll just come in here now because the microphone uh, didn't pick up the voices as well as uh, I hoped. Obviously, driving in the car is difficult, but this is reactor number four. This is the reactor that blew up and caused the accident. So it's now inside that sarcophagus there to prevent radiation from getting out in the air. It's uh, very surreal to be right beside that. So it was, and uh, we didn't have a whole lot of time to stop by and take it all in. So I suggest too, if you're doing the Chernobyl tour, to maybe do a two day tour and you get to take these things in a wee bit more at your own leisure, you know, you're not rushing. Excellent. And six more were in design. That means uh, the uh, Soviet authorities uh, had a dream to build the largest nuclear facility in the world, to be number one, as usually. Yeah. But I think usually humanity fail when we build something the greatest, like Concorde, Challenger, Badalon Tower, Titanic, Chernobyl, Chelsea, joke, <laughs> <laughs> kidding. And now we are approaching the area of Red Forest, which, which is the most contaminated open air in the world. Check the levels. Check the levels now. No point ninety. So what would be considered dangerous? So uh, dangerous uh, is dose of radiation. Not levels of radiation. Is it's a dose of radiation because now radiation is measured per hour. You know, as yeah. longer you stay here, as more dose you get. So dose yeah. of radiation. So we acceptable to receive during one day to one my uh, 100 micro zeros a day, but usually we get five, which is very far to danger. So take a look. Three. Three point seven four. I see people panic when they hear that sound. <laughs> Even, even me, even yeah. me. When I came here for the first time, I was a little bit panicked. Now it's okay. Now I understand it's a safe. It actually we see levels only in micro zeros, not even in milli zeros. Yeah. Milli zeros are bad, but you know, uh, to see one one milli we need to see, uh, to see one thousand micro zeros. So remember, road and the road sides are clean and safe. Put your hand Roadside. out. Clean and safe. And wait for a second. How much? Uh, 58. Yes, 58. 59. Yeah. So this place is not good for barbecue. <laughs> no. Before the accident, this place before the accident, you see trees were taller than now. Yeah. So uh, all trees you can see around us are new. They grew after. Original red forest was cut down, moved away, and buried. This is the before. This is this is why red forest. That is why. That's the red forest there. Yeah. Wind blew here and killed everything on its way, even the trees. So we're here, another checkpoint here. Igor's just taking care of some paperwork. So uh, yeah, next up will be the will be Pripyat town. Oh, it's going to be quite surreal to see a whole uh, a whole abandoned city, really. You know, um, yeah, it's uh, it's hard to believe. You know, you aren't, you take this stuff for granted. You know, um, these people were basically. In their homes, and next thing, an alarm went off, and they had declared or told they'd be back just a matter of days. And uh, of course, that never never came to be. So, um, just puts things into perspective. You know, you have to appreciate the small things, really. So, um, yeah, it does uh, does make you make you open your eyes a little bit. You know, we have to be a bit, bit more grateful. So we came from here. This is the central street called Lenin Avenue. That facility is over there. Okay, next, next picture. 
So, hotel and town hall. Hotel and town hall. And over, over there is a community center, which was opened 8th of March 1986. Only six or seven weeks old when it was abandoned, brand new. But this place, which is behind, the uh, community center is a playground or Ferris wheel. Amusement park, which was supposed to be opened 1st of May, never happened. Did you know that? Never happened, yeah. Good memory. So this town was decontaminated. Initial plan of Soviet authorities was to clean it and use it again. They removed 15 centimeters of topsoil in many places. They put extra layer of asphalt on concrete roads. You can see it's a new asphalt. Uh, they uh, washed buildings, but only in August uh, 1996 they decided to build a new town to replace this town. And this town, after decontamination, became clean enough to work here to visit it, but of course unclean for permanent living, especially with kids. If we uh, follow all the rules, uh, we are safe. Yeah. This is the main square, you can see hotel, palace of culture or community center called energy, energy or energetic, supermarket, restaurant, you can see tall Soviet buildings with so, uh, uh, apartment blocks with Soviet symbols on the rooftop. I'm on second, yeah. So on that rooftop you can see a uh, symbol of Soviet Union. On that rooftop in the distance you can see symbol of Soviet Ukraine. So shooting so. range to the left, bumper cars, swings, carousel, very soon all for you. All for me, yeah. place to myself. Yeah. <laughs> the time. So you said uh, as well, Igor, that uh, the Ferris wheel was never Not only actually Ferris used. Wheel. Anything, everything. Bumper cars, Not. shooting range, carousel, everything. Was supposed to be open 1st of May. <laughs> never ever worked. So yes, yeah, just as uh, Igor said, um, None of this was used. It was all supposed to be for the for the May Day um, celebration, and uh, of course, that never happened. So uh, yeah, just untouched, uh, left abandoned. Um, big Ferris wheel there. That's usually what you one of the things you see when you're thinking of coming to Chernobyl. That's one of the things that stick out. So um, yeah, hard to believe none of this stuff has ever ever touched really. So they're all stray dogs again? Yes, yes, and pretty bitch stray <laughs> dogs. Very friendly dogs. Oh, that's a good boy. <laughs> you, see, you see more? You see? Are you going to the school number one? School number one, yeah. What, what do you see? Do you see some filters? Some gas masks, right? Different yeah. sizes. Wow. So many of them, because lots of students. Cold War time. So they expected nuclear attack n uh, not from three kilometers away, nuclear power plant, from America, for, from 6,000 kilometers away. They didn't expect nuclear attack from peaceful electricity generator. Tell the viewers, uh, Igor, you were trained uh, how to wear them gas masks. Was it uh, four times a year? You said 
two times a year. Two times Don't a year. Two times a year. Yeah. Because you're expect- special lessons. Special lessons. C- civilian, civilian defense lessons. Because uh, you were expecting an attack from yes, USA. Yes. We thought America will attack us any moment. So this place here, Igor's is uh, another school. Or? Kindergarten. Kindergarten, yeah. Daycare facility. Now you're going to see. So now they are guiding us to the creepy doors. Creepy doors. <laughs> oh. So all the kids would have been easy to see. Are they creepy? Yes, creepy enough that. <laughs> you can see, dog is not creepy. <laughs> dogs are cute. Cute dogs. You feel a bit safe when you see the dogs, yeah. <laughs> this one. Very creepy, yeah. This, is, this, uh, uh, this facility always banned for going in because it, there are some contamination inside. There is contamination, yeah. Especially basement. They had to seal up a... Uh, one of the entrances in, didn't they? Because people were trying to get in. Uh, you know, um, in 2018, a video in, on YouTube appeared a Polish tourist ride bicycle in basement for good content. Yeah. And they decided to uh, seal up the uh, entrance, but there are many ways how to get it. Yeah. But that main one is uh, blocked by bench of sand and clay. Hundreds of notes just laying, scattered around the place. That's for the delivering babies. Yes, sir. Right. Sometimes magic mistake, you know. Yeah. And you patient of this facility. See, so yeah, we're just coming into the morgue now, so I'll give you a wee look. Kidney stone. Kidney stone, you know? Yeah, stone and kidney stone. Very painful it's when it's going out. Very yeah. painful. Maybe it's, it's a reason when someone death. Another one, you see? God knows what is in those. Try and focus on that. Yeah, so um, spooky enough in here. I wouldn't want to be here on my own. Um, there's another, another table in here. At least we have our dogs here to protect us. There's the supermarket here. I don't know how well you can see it. It's quite dark. But, uh, quite a large supermarket. We'll just get the camera focused. So again, it's quite dark. It probably doesn't do it justice on camera, but it is quite big.
Yeah, yeah, and it's um, it's hard to believe all this stuff just abandoned, you know. Again, we have to appreciate these small little things, you know. Uh, I think ever in the past two years or so, we've took for granted uh, things that we can no longer do. So I think now uh, the two years have kind of let everyone calm down and look at their lives really and see what they really want to do. So, you know, do what makes you happy and make the most of what you got really, you know. Um, I know we can't always get what we want, but come to a place like this, you know, these people just wanted to return to their homes and that was took away from them, you know, so, yeah, it uh, does make you think. You go inside, put your head and wait. It means good, clean. If you are contaminated, red one, and shows where, what exact part of your body is contaminated. Also make this noise. You're good? Okay. <laughs> All good. Uh, this is a threshold. Tw uh, 20 beta decays per one minute per one square centimeter. Uh, previous check was uh, with 100 decays. So this one is five times more sensitive than previous one. So go inside. And wait. <laughs> it's recording. It's recording? Yeah. Good. Good, yeah. Yeah, can relax now. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, um, so that's uh, Chernobyl finished, um, big shout out to Igor, um, he was an incredible guide, you know, um, so much knowledge, any question I asked him, you know, he answered it uh, with uh, good enthusiasm, so um, yeah, um, definitely uh, if you're going to Chernobyl, uh, get on the Solo East, um, 100%, it was very good, uh, couldn't have been any better to be honest with you, so again the link will be down below. Um, so uh, yeah, an interesting experience, you know. Um, crazy to see in full, full big town, uh, just completely abandoned. You know, these people run the homes and never returned. You know, as Ego was saying, the people in the apartment blocks would have got more apartment blocks from the state. You know, they probably weren't there for too long, but it's the houses we've seen at the start. You know, like they were proper homes, and those people, um, some some did go back to living it. You know, the elderly did find it hard to move. You know, such a such an old age, but um, yeah, you know it. Uh, it does get you thinking, all right. So um, yeah, look, guys, uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, stay tuned uh, for more videos from Kiev. Um, quite an underrated city. I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. So yeah, let's uh, ch stay tuned in, and I'll show you a little bit more.